Good evening, everyone. So I have a question to pose to the audience. How many of you have ever tried to eat a little healthier, but you go to the store and you're reading the nutrition label or you're reading the label on a product and you don't understand what's going on? Or you see a commercial and you think something's healthy and you start eating it and realize it's not good for you at all. So this happens a lot um, in the food industry. There's actually a lot of unethical marketing practices that go on in this industry. Um, so first I'm going to talk to you about the problem. Um, there is definitely a problem with ethics in marketing, um, specifically in the food industry. Um, so first I just want to define a few things. So according to Merriam-Webster's dictionary, marketing is an aggregate of functions involved in moving goods from producer to consumer. Now according to the same source, ethics is conforming to accepted standards of conduct. Now these are really broad definitions. Um, so one article that I was reading went in to try to combine them to create a definition for ethical marketing. Um, and it states that um, an ethical market regulates and, ex and establishes long-term competitors' relationships, being trust among buyer and seller. Now, this is kind of where the problem lies, because there's a lack of trust between the consumer and the marketer. Um, but as you'll see, even this definition is extremely broad and left up to interpretation, which is kind of where this issue arises. So first I want to talk a little bit about, um, there's been many, many cases involving um, unethical marketing, but I want to talk specifically about a case against McDonald's where a gentleman by the name of Caesar Barber actually um, sued McDonald's saying that it's helping cause the obesity epidemic. Um, now this case was eventually dropped, but then he brought up another case about advertising, uh, McDonald's advertising practices to young children and um, the nutritional content of their food and that. This case was also dropped due to um, insufficient evidence, but the judge then talked to Caesar Barber about a way to go about this case to um, actually get a su successful case and get all the evidence necessary because he recognized that there was an issue. He um, dealt with multiple cases about the salt content of McDonald's foods and labeling foods as cholesterol free when really they were high in cholesterol and horrible for your health. Um, now, Caesar never went through with this, but it recognizes that there's an issue here. The judge saw that there was an issue. McDonald's has even recognized that there was an issue based on the fact that they settled in multiple cases uh, that they knew they weren't going to win. They stopped advertising the larger portions. Uh, they even got rid of their supersized menu. Um, so what it really comes down to is the fact that in this fast food industry, company profitability and consumer health clash, and it causes an issue. Um, so the cause behind this unethical marketing of food. I'm going to talk a little bit about this now. Um, so the 2004 Surgeon General's report um, announced that obesity is the second leading cause of death that can be prevented. Um, each year, 400,000 people die of obesity-related deaths. Um, so there really, there's a big issue here. Um, and what it comes down to is a lack of trust. People don't want to be dying of uh, obesity-related things. We don't want this problem anymore. But no matter how hard people are trying, if they're not getting the right information and they can't trust these marketers, an issue is um, going to be caused. Um, so what it, a lot of times it comes down to from the marketer's perspective is the situation. So when you have, you're marketing to a consumer that's uninformed, the marketer has the upper hand and they can choose whether to manipulate the customer to buy their product or to do what's right and ethical and tell the true nutrition facts um, so the consumer can make that decision based on their health. Also, another thing is the wording of adver advertisements can be extremely manipulative, manipulative. Uh, especially in the United States. Uh, food has a very cultural um, conception and it comes into a lot of tradition, into play with a lot of traditions. I know we all just had Thanksgiving. I'm sure everyone ate more than their fair share. Um, marketers take this into account. People aren't going to be paying attention to what they're eating during Thanksgiving, so marketers are trying to manipulate consumers um, and kind of go for their, their traditional side. Um, so that's another thing that can be considered unethical because the marketer has such an influence. So what can we do to solve this problem? Um, the big thing that it all comes down to is creating trust between the marketer and the consumer. There is that lack of trust right now. Um, consumers don't know what to believe from the marketer. Um, so the best way to create this trust 
is not to just have truthful advertisements, but to also go above and beyond the laws. The FDA has certain requirements as to what needs to be listed on the label. Um, the general terms for uh, foods and ingredients needs to be listed as opposed to the scientific terms so that it's easier for consumers to understand what they're putting into their bodies. Um, but this isn't enough. The, in order to create this trust, um, marketers need to explain more to the consumers and go above and beyond what is just legal to kind of develop this trust. So in conclusion, um, change is necessary. There is a problem when you have 400,000 deaths per year due to obesity. And a lot of it comes down to trust, trusting that the marketer is going to give you the information necessary to make knowledgeable decisions about what you're eating. Um, these laws aren't enough. Marketers need to go above and beyond and do what is ethical, not just what is legal. Also, balance is key. There needs to be a balance between company profitability and nutritional value. Um, the company can't just do whatever it takes to get a customer to buy their food product. They need to also make these consumers well aware of what they're putting into their body. Thank you. Does anyone have any questions? Thank <laughs> you.